So this is quite a tricky question really. We're given some probabilities but we're not given the mean or the standard deviation. We have to try to work that out. And let's see how we can do that. So the weight of strawberry jam in jars follows a normal distribution. It had to be strawberry jam of course, almost everybody's favourite. Um, now we're told that 10% of the jars contain more than 470 grams. What I'm going to do here is draw a picture as is often the case for my liking anyway. So there's our probability distribution for the weight of strawberry jam in jars. And 10% of the jars contain more than 470 grams. 35% contain less than 460. So that's where we are there. Now we don't know where, what the mean and the standard deviation are. So in order to do that, <clears throat> we're going to need to convert the, um, the x values into z values. And the reason we need to do that is um, we're going to use the this formula z equals x minus mu over sigma. That's basically what how we how the um, standardized normal distribution is defined. And rearranging that, I can um, convert that into a slightly easier form to work with, which is x equals z sigma plus mu. So in order to use that formula, I need to know what the z figures are that go with each of these x figures. We've got the two x figures we need to know what the z figures are. So <clears throat> to find the z figures, we're going to use the inverse normal. We're using the inverse normal because we've been given probabilities. And we're going to use the inverse normal with mean 0 and standard deviation of 1. And that will give us the standardized normal distribution figures, the z figures. So when I do that with the inverse normal distribution with the 10% probability in the upper tail or 90% in the lower tail, uh, if your calculator like mine only does um, the lower tail, to give me the 1.2816 and I put do the uh, calculation again with a lower tail of 35% or 0.35 gives me this z number. So I can now write down an equation connecting these numbers. So this x, this 470 here, connects with uh, that z value there. This relates to that one. So Z, uh, sorry, x equals z sigma plus mu. I can also write a similar equation using this x figure and that z figure. And I've got two equations now and simultaneous equations. To solve these, the simplest way is to simply subtract one from the other and the, the means then cancel each other out. And I'm left with that little equation. So sigma is six, almost six exactly. And then when I put that value of sigma back into either of these equations, then I find the value of mu is 462.3. And that's what I would have hoped to have got if that's the mean there, somewhere between 460 and 470, but much closer to 460 than 470. And uh, so that's, um, I'm happy that that number looks about right. So we've done, uh, we found the mean and standard deviation of the weights of jars in the jam, uh, weights of jam in the jar. Um, now we've got to find what proportion of jars contain less than the stated weight. And the stated weight is 454 grams. So that's us uh, using this, the calculator with um, uh, a lower figure of, let's say, minus 10,000, or you could just put zero probably, it would be exactly the same answer. This would be the upper figure, 
and now we've got the mean and the standard deviation so we can put those in and we the calculator should give us a figure of 0.0833 but remember that the question's asking uh, what proportion uh, of jars and we often um, express proportions uh, in percentage terms but probably either of those two answers would give you all the marks in the exam okay for part c the interquartile range of the weights of jam so the interquartile range is the distance the gap between the lower quartile and the upper quartile so once again i can use my calculator um, to find those two numbers um, <clears throat> using the uh, inverse normal distribution again um, for for the upper quartile i'm using a left tail of 0.75 <clears throat> and for the lower quartile a left tail of 0.25 and so the, uh, the interquartile range is the difference between these two numbers which is around about 8 grams okay so there we are